Hello, my lovelies, and welcome to another episode on the Truly Bedrock server. That's right, guys, we're back and we're ready for a brand new day. So, as uh, you will have seen in the opening time lapse, we have been working on our base. And if we just come up here, and spin around you will see quite a bit has been done even past that time lapse because on the truly bedrock live stream weekend we did a bunch of work and i'm really proud of how it looks so far so far i have quite a bit of detailing it's not even remotely done but everything i do have so far i really really like I've been working on the roof, just like whittling away at it, adding details here and there. And I think what we're going to do is we're going to work on the window over here because I think that once I get like a, a feature kind of area here on this big open wall, it will completely change how the side of the house looks. And I'm kind of looking forward to it because this is quite a different palette. It's something that I'm looking forward to, but also, oh, um, excuse me, <laughs> rude, <laughs> but it's also, wow. Okay. So it wouldn't be a Jesse episode if I wasn't falling from <laughs> something. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh goodness. I wanted to bring in the features from the tower kind of into the main build and I think that adding a take on these windows will help a lot because I can't do the exact windows. I think that would look silly with the two slanted roofs. I was considering maybe doing opposite sides so that they come up on either side, but I decided against that because I think that it would just be a little off if that makes any sense like it just it wouldn't line up quite right so what we're gonna do is we're gonna just take some of those features and see what we can create let's see let's get some of these i think that'll probably start off the shape pretty well uh let's go out here maybe some leaves um should i let's see what do i have okay come over here get some leaves i am a big believer that adding a few leaves every so often can really change the shape of the build so what we should do now is actually start the roof area because these do need a little bit of a lip um slabby jabbies okay let's go there go down one and let's see start marking he hello thank you okay Start marking these out and we should get a shape. Right. Um, eh. <laughs> I think this is probably an example of less is more. If I'm being completely honest, that, <laughs> that lip looks a little excessive. That has definitely made the whole thing look bulkier and let's get up here and just you know <laughs> remove a few of these that is my favorite thing about minecraft is just you know editing because i'm me and i definitely build up and remove things an unhealthy amount <laughs> let's look at this window and see what we think yeah, <laughs> that is 
much better. That is much, much better. I think once we do the window decors and the detailing on the bottom half and kind of the sides of the building, it'll look much better. So what we're going to do is cut to a few clips of some interactions I had with some of the other Truly Bedrock members. And while you're watching that, I'm going to get to work. All right. See you in a second. I'm going to take a stab in the dark and say you sell, uh, Maybe uh, glow ink sacks. Yeah. Yeah. I knew definitely. It. Man. Yeah. So good. <laughs> yeah. No. Right. First try. <laughs> Man, I didn't even need to give you the three strike. The three, uh, the three strike challenge, like I did with Rogue. Right. So, See, yeah, I'm just first try. Yeah, that's amazing. gotta gotta yeah. you know polish the nails, right? <laughs> ah, so good. Yeah. <laughs> Stretch those muscles a little bit. Flex a little bit. Yep. You know. <laughs> so good. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> So, are you in the market to make a couple of diamonds? Uh, I don't really need diamonds, but yeah, sure. Why not? Okay. Well, here's a diamond block, and all you need to do is come try out my brand new shop. <laughs> okay. If you're paying me to try your shop, something tells me that this isn't going <laughs> to end well for me. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Uh, so, this shop sells armor. <laughs> Welcome and to and Loser Win. Loser win. Yeah. Oh, okay. Lose or win. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so basically, uh, I sell any kind of gear, anything. So it can be good. It can be cursed. It can be amazing. It can be fully <laughs> enchanted netherite. Uh. That is the gamble, basically. And there is a twist. To use it, you got to take off all your armor and then stand right there on the concrete. Uh, okay. So, okay. Complimentary storage. Okay. Uh, okay, I <laughs> I tried to make it convenient. <laughs> it, it is. It's very it's very nice of you. I'm just a little bit worried. You said can be cursed. Does that mean I might get a curse of binding something on me? Don't worry about it. Don't hmm. worry about it. Just go stand in the chamber. Okay. Yep. Just go stand in the chamber. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna pay for it for you because you know it's only nice. There uh, you go. Okay. Did now, you get anything good? Uh, I think. Uh, oh. I oh curse of binding helmet. Okay, well that's unfortunate for you. Why don't you come over here to our complimentary removal service <laughs> on the left? And okay. it's, it's a relatively uh, you know similar experience to the previous one. <laughs> uh, okay, well that was pretty painless. So I mean this should be this should be okay, right? Yeah, yeah. Don't just don't just don't worry about it too much. Basically, uh, don't ask questions. Oh oh oh! <laughs> Okay, it works. Just wanted to make sure, you know, I just, you know, I figured guinea pig was a good way of doing that. Oh, that, that, I, there was a, there was a totem noise and then, then there was a death screen. There was no, there was, it, it was like simultaneous. That was like, there was Did no, you... there was no waiting. <laughs> Did you set your spawn over here by chance? No, no, I didn't. Oh. I'm, I'm, I'll be back. <laughs> Oh, please. <laughs> okay. It didn't even use all the arrows. Three of those <laughs> didn't even hit you. <laughs> instant damage? Oh, arrows, I would yeah. guess? Instant damage, too. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's... Yep. Uh -huh. That'll do it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was angry. That was... That was angry. Wow. Oh, jeez. I am well, impressed. Well, thank you for your service. Yeah. I appreciate your, your help. <laughs> I mean, getting this tested and uh you know i now i now know that it's foolproof i need to put a sign saying to set your spawn yeah yeah setting yeah. spawn would be would be smart it's professional removal services that's all i gotta say just professional clean simple quick you don't even <laughs> it's not you don't even notice the pain it's just instant no it was it was very instant I, the second i noticed oh no i still have a totem i didn't have to worry about the totem <laughs> So, <laughs> yeah, no worries about the totem. It's uh, it, you, we we don't make our customers have to work. You no. just stand in there, you pay us, and then we take care of the whole job for you. Well, here you Brilliant. can uh, have that since you killed me. Oh, there we go. You know, yeah. I, oh, I know what to do with this. I'm gonna make it say Jesse approved. Yeah, yeah. You Very you should, nice. especially because uh, more than the levels I lost, I just realized that was only my fifth death. So. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> That's another uh, reason I didn't want to test it. I only yeah. have one death on the server. <laughs> yeah, I didn't didn't occur to me. Did not occur to me that uh, I had so little deaths. And then I realized, oh, those are rare. Those Jesse heads. <laughs> Yes, they are. Uh, it's actually a yesy, a yesy head. Yeah, I forget what yours says. Does yours say bad pigo or something? I'm not sure. I only got one of them. I, I haven't looked at it recently. Yeah. I don't, I don't even know what it is. Where's my head at? I lost my head. You... Well, that's, that's unfortunate. That's funny. Oh, well, that was fun. Thank you for the insta-death and uh, the diamond yeah. block. I mean... A diamond block for my head. I, I guess that's fair. <laughs> yeah, now you got a souvenir. You can get your levels back from the almighty furnace god. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I hope to have many more uh, service from you or many more purchases from you in the future. Miss B. Yes, I'm... I have made a game that doesn't have a name yet because <laughs> I've asked comments for names. Oh. So it's got no name. So there's no instructions yet. But the rules are it's very simple. Okay. okay. You can either be Team Cyan or Team Orange. And you go on the respective platform and you stand on the pressure plate. I'm not going to do it yet because when I get off, it's going to fire rockets everywhere. Okay. okay. Yeah. In your chest, there's a bow and 64 arrows. Okay. And what you've got to do when we say basically one of us will say three, two, one, go. It's like a, it's like a duel. Yeah? Okay. You won't be able to see the other player but you'll know roughly where they are. And can you see this target blocks all down the bottom of that uh, pillar over there yes. with lights? Yes. Well, that's going to give you an idea of where your arrows are going because you'll be able to see if you're shooting too low, where roughly where you are. So it'll help you aim up a little bit. And it's the first person to knock the other person off the pressure plate. Ooh. So you're not allowed to crouch and like cling on. Okay. You've got to knock the other person off the pressure plate. And when that happens, the lights will go on and a and, uh, rocket will fire out of the dispenser. To, to signify that you've won. Okay, so that sounds like fun. You can fire as quickly as you want. You can have as many arrows as you want. You don't, you're not limited to 64. That's just all I had on me at the time. <laughs> but okay. I would advise against using like a power five flame bow because it, it's not intentional to kill each other. <laughs> it's fair. But you can if you want, you know, it's up to you. Um, so in the other box over there, there's another bow and arrow. Do you want okay. to be team cyan or yes. team orange? I want, I want cyan. Okay. I'll be team orange then. Did you okay, leave the so bow? No, I didn't. I just took it. Oh, jeez. I'll bring it back. I just. Oh, jeez. It's a pressure plate. I'm going to have to do something with these pressure plates, Jesse. Oh, no, I, I just so. took that one. Here you go. I have a load of arrows. I could okay. do with an infinity bow, really, over here. Um, a couple of them. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I have a bajillion arrows. I mean, a bajillion arrows, bajillion levels, and I have a really cheap infinity villager. So hold on. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, amazing. Yeah. So let's just fix that real quick. Okay. So I can't see you. I'm assuming you're on yours. I am now. Oops. Yeah. Okay, there the we lights go. have gone off. This is good news. My light should be off. Yep. Okay. So it's just a case of saying three, two, one, and then being the first person to shoot the other person off. Good okay. luck, Jesse B. <laughs> okay. Good luck. You ready? Yes, I think so. Three, two, one, go. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, wow. Jeez, that was yeah. close. <laughs> oh. It's very difficult to tell how high you're shooting. Oh, jeez. They're getting very close. Oh. I'm, like, I'm trying very hard. <laughs> oh. My bow keeps disappearing because I've got that stupid FOV changer on. Oh, see, I don't. Oh. oh yay. Oh. The lights went on. I win. <laughs> that, was, that was one good hit. That's. Amen. It just that takes was nice. one hit from that distance. Yeah, so just away. yeah, one hit. That's yeah. crazy. That was pretty good. Nice. Would you like another round? Oop. Oops. <laughs> I didn't do it. I won twice. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I want to see if I can do it again. So it's really okay. hard to tell. Like I, oh yeah, I, it's really hard. I did not know. Ah, see, there has to be some kind of strategy, though. <laughs> well. Yeah, well, line up your shot as best you can, I guess, and just keep, like, start low and work your way up, but mm -hmm. obviously hope that you do it quicker than the other player. <laughs> <laughs> right, you, you, you can do the countdown this time. Okay. Ready, steady, yeah. go. Ooh, that was bad. Very low. That was very bad. Oh. Oh, oh. Bad. Oh, oh, okay. 
Ooh. Even too high, maybe, possibly. So hard to tell. Yeah, see, that's like, I can mostly see where your arrows are coming from. Ooh, ooh, that was close. Yeah. Oh, that oh, one, God. you can see them, like, the trails, how accurate they are, because <laughs> they do tend to drift off a little bit. Yep. Oh, that was, that's got one been close. That one was spot on there. I looked <laughs> it on my screen, at least. See, I feel like this might be easier with the ooh. FOV changer. Yeah, I've got the FOV changer on mine. Ooh, it cheater. It doesn't really make much difference. No, I haven't, I haven't been using it. I've just clicked it now just to see... Uh, Makes much ooh, difference. ooh, you're getting much uh, more centralized. Come on. Oh, yep, there you go. Yay! <laughs> Hooray! I win again. Nice. You were getting very close with yours. Was I? See, you were hitting the uh, the the copper block. Like yeah, each front. each arrow was like literally landing on the copper. I was I was like, yep, you're gonna get me eventually. <laughs> I you, you can't tell whether you need to raise up or, or mm -hmm. go down at that distance because they just go out of render distance. So oh my like... goodness! Wow, I have littered the front of this. <laughs> <laughs> it's good grouping. You did a good job. Right, I'm going to be real honest with you guys. Right, those clips that you just saw, well. Those were just about two weeks ago. <laughs> two weeks ago, I uh, I got together with the boys and I had recorded the first part of this episode. <laughs> and, you know, life happens, right? I, as you will have noticed, I did not have an episode last week. And that's because that was supposed to be this episode. And life got in the way. <laughs> I just, I didn't manage to get it out on time. So... Here we are. It is just about two weeks later, and I have a few things to show you. Once we get down here, you will see that we have added in windows all the way around different places. I really like them. And we've even started messing with adding in some depth to the sides because obviously this is this is just a big blank wall it looks flat it does not look detailed and so that will change also what we are adding in is these nice little details up at the top i think that it adds just a really nice bit of detailing it, it just makes it look a little bit more in my opinion kind of like cottagey it, it's just like this really nice feel of quaint it's like a quaint little detail that you can just add in that makes it feel homey and i really really like it not going to lie so if you go inside you will see that we have in fact laid out the floors that's all nice and done you go through here and you have the tunnel up which is really nice tunnel this is a stairway jesse and in here we have the other floor laid out so hopefully i can come in here and section out rooms maybe make this side the kitchen and maybe like a library maybe well, we'll see but i i have quite quite a few ideas there's just there's so much space there's a lot to do and i think i can make this look really beautiful by the end of the season and i'm pretty excited because this is a lot of space it's a lot of space but it's a lot of space that can be utilized so it's not too big that i'm just gonna have this big empty house for no reason other than to just make it pretty it can be a big house that's just really nicely decorated have some beautiful interior Interiors and have something for you guys to really like, you know, explore when the season does come to an end and you guys get that wonderful download. <laughs> I do think that before we do the interiors, though, I want to finish up the outside. And there are a few things that I have envisioned that I think are going to look 
great. So, of course, we have this area right here, which is going to get a very pretty bridge that's going to lead that way. There will be terraforming. Of course, there will be terraforming. <laughs> I mean, come on. What, what season would it be? What TB would it be without Jesse terraforming something, right? <laughs> So that might be really soon, just so that I can get the detailing done. I'm excited for the bridge. And then the other thing that we're going to have over here is horse stables. Because we do have our horses over there. I'll see if Evil Jesse wants me to put Pestilence over here as well. Because, you know, that that's that's dangerous over there. We have had quite a few zapped by lightning. So we need a proper stables. And I'm thinking... It will either go right over here by this mountain or it'll go on the backside where we have a bit more space. But either way, I think that some beautiful stables are in order. Very snowy, beautiful terrain. And in the last live stream I did, we talked about the fact that what we need over here is some snow peaked mountains. So this whole area right here uh, ideally is going to be terraformed into some mountains with just like beautiful snow at the top and it's going to look really great. I feel like this whole base just reminds me of like an Alps base if that, <laughs> if that makes any sense. And it's like kind of like a princess cottage in a snow area. It's just the vibes that I'm getting from this space. But alas, I do have to say goodbye. <laughs> and I will see you in the next episode of Truly Bedrock. Thank you so much for sticking around. Thank you so much for your patience and putting up with me. Bye, guys.